Hey guys, so this is Ryan with uh, Hit or Miss Aquariums again. Uh, as you can see, this is my uh, 120 gallon uh, reef tank. It is uh, the back of the tank currently. And um, I just showed a video a little while ago about uh, putting baffles around the refugium light. I'm gonna do the same principle here. Um, I've had, you know, actually just um, wrapping paper, black wrapping paper on the back of this. And you know, if any uh, water gets dripped on it or anything like that, it, it kind of is a pain in the butt. And then also, um, it wasn't, it was all one big piece. So my goal is, is to come up with like different sections, like, you know, middle section and then two end sections that I can maybe remove with Velcro or something like that. Now let's talk about some things you're gonna need here. This is just like poster board. I don't think, it might be paper. I'm not 100% sure if it is. It's more like a plasticky type of paper. I got this from Michaels. Um, it's a, or actually Hobby Lobby. This was $1.19 a sheet. Each sheet is uh, 22 by 28 inches. So um, I got like five pieces of that. Um, some other tools you're gonna need. Tape measure. Uh, a straight edge you don't have to have a level for this but uh, yeah I just like it because it has a straight edge I may actually end up using one that's a little bit longer finally you're gonna need some scissors um, and then whatever you plan on attaching it with you know you could do two-sided tape if you wanted to make it more permanent I'm probably gonna use velcro just like I did with the other build um, on the light because of the fact that um, I want to be able to take it off and put it back on so uh, you could also use uh, something on Amazon called gaff tape um, or duct tape. It's like black, but gaff tape is, is nice because it's not quite as sticky as duct tape uh, for the seams. Uh, so the one thing you want to take into consideration is when you're measuring, let's just look at this angle here. When you're measuring, you know, you don't want to have the piece cut at where it says 21 and a half inches because that would be like right by this post right here. You could just do 28 inches so you didn't have to cut it at all. Um, and then uh, that would put it like right around there. You also want to cut it uh, to length. So the length from the edge of the top here to the bottom is 19 inches. If it's a little short, it's really okay. Um, just because of the fact that, you know, you're going to have sand bed. Uh, you want to make it you know shorter on the sand bed where there's not going to be light sneaking through as opposed to up top where you know in this case there's uh, a light in this room so all right guys so there you have it there's the first panel up um, obviously I have to put some velcro on it so that it sticks um, but uh, that's kind of the thought process behind it um, One thing I will tell you is that you want to make sure that your glass is clean. You can kind of see all the little salt marks and everything. So I'm going to clean the glass uh, before I finish this, and then I'll show you guys what the uh, finished product looks like. So here is the finished product. Doesn't look too bad. You can really see the seams, which is important. Um, did have to deviate a little bit from the plan. I'll show you what I did here in the back. What I ended up having to do. Was I actually ended up using electrical tape along the top and the, and the uh, back and the sides of this. So it's not as removable as I had hoped, but at the same time, it's going to prevent any light from getting through. Uh, you can see there's a little bit of a gap there at the bottom. I haven't noticed any light yet. I taped up all the seams. Um, any place I noticed light coming through. So, this is a, a pretty good solution, I think, because it's pretty easy to take off if you need to without having to ruin the background. That's, uh, that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoy, and uh, stick around for the next one. We'll talk to you later.